everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for today's project today i'm going to be upcycling this old sideboard which i got as a gift from a friend about three years back i have already removed the hardware and will be giving it a good scrub later i will be using this piece in my art room come guest room which is all in white with lots and lots of plants I am tipping towards painting this in a pretty grey colour and for this I would be using chalk paint from Marabu's Chalky Chic line and a combination of two colours, slate and antique violet in a ratio of 2 is to 1 wherein two parts of the slate and one part of the antique violet. If you like, you can lightly sand your piece using 120 grit sandpaper. I have already done this and that's, uh, and that's why I'm just going to thoroughly clean the piece and then start painting with a flat paintbrush. I'll be applying two coats of paint. Uh, do let your paint dry very well for 24 hours before you go ahead and apply your second coat. So now because I'm going to keep the inside as is, I'm going to tape it off with a painter's tape just to get a, a clear edge once I'm done painting it. So my first coat's dried and uh, now I'm going to give it a quick second coat. So the table is now completely dry and I think we are ready to now distress it and then wax it. For distressing I am just using a block to help me hold the, the sandpaper and I will be using 120 grit sandpaper to lightly uh, sand it down. So. I'll do one of the doors and then show you the difference between both of them. You can see um, how the dimensions start to come out the moment we sand it out a little bit and uh, vintage it and antique it and make it look a little more chippy. So now you can see the difference between this one and this one. So now that this is complete, I'm going to wax it down. Uh, I have the Bondex Vintage Wax White. I'm just going to take a nice cloth and do it. Do this. You could use um, you could use a round brush, which I would show you also to apply it. But I just prefer using a nice soft uh, old T-shirt uh, cut up to put the wax. I just find it much more easier. So while the table is drying, I just thought that I could clean up these um, 
hinges they look like brass I tried scrubbing one end of it and maybe you can see that it looks a little little cleaner than the other one so I'm going to scrub it with a mixture of salt flour and um, Essex vinegar uh, in equal proportions and I'll make a paste and put it over this I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off and come back and show you the results They did clean up pretty well. Uh, they are not sparkling clean like a new brass would be but I guess uh, I don't even want it to be sparkly clean because that would give away from the old vintagey look of it. So I like it the way it is. Um, this is the piece ready, dried and waiting to be fixed now. I bought some new nails from Stebulit. These are one millimeter by 13 millimeter from the Bauhaus because the old ones were just really badly damaged and didn't look that great. I'm going to start fixing the hardware now. Uh, first, this is the keyhole uh, piece that goes in. Then I'll be doing the hinges and then fixing the doors to the piece. I'm going to start fixing the doors now which wasn't a very easy task as you can see me struggling over here um, I had to really arrange it uh, push it in and out a little bit and then get it to go inside but I think I eventually managed <laughs> 